The two block tall method we will be covering is most compatible with the nether wart and for a particular case, cocoa bean farms, but it's also potentially applicable to the standard crops such as wheat, carrots, and potatoes. As you can see, this is what a more standard three block tall design looks like, where you farm between the two layers like this. However, if we replace the floor with carpet, it's actually possible to reduce the height to simply two blocks as you can fit between both layers of carpet. Now, there are a few issues with carpet, such as placing, I'm trying to place right now, but it won't work, which we will cover later. All right, now let's take a look at why this isn't the best for more standard crops, such as wheat, carrots, and potatoes. So the main difference between nether wart and these is that there's the added need for a light source and water source. And when you do try to translate it to two blocks, you do encounter a few issues. So with this design, I just replaced the middle row with water and added an extra row of light. But if your objective is to make it compact, it's not really going to be achieving that, though it does look pretty sick, especially with shaders. Now, you can actually re reduce the amount of rows by combining the light and the water in the same row, and that's what I'd recommend if you are actually trying to do this, but you do increase your total build time since it's not as easy as uh, the other method. For cocoa bean farms, it doesn't work with every design. So for example, all the ladder designs, you're not really caring about layer height. However, for this sort of design, you do gain benefits. Now, obviously it's not going to be two block tall layers, but you do gain uh, one block for every layer. And you can see that as we go down. Now you don't even need the carpet. You can farm without it, but the issue is when you run into non-fully grown crops. All right, so let's cover carpet placement. Now for standard cocoa bean farms, this is easiest. All you have to keep in mind is don't place like this where you'll get a block above, just place against the wall and try to adjust to a speed where you can just keep that with crouching at a specific angle and place the fastest. For nether wart and the other farms, what you'll want to do is place the bottom layer first. Builders want uh, the layers above. And here's the cool thing. Normally, carpet you can't place midair, but you can just destroy the block underneath and it stays. So the best way to do this is actually use the block zapper. Now here what it'll do is it'll remove all the layers, but it normally caps at a total of 164 blocks, and your lengths should be like 169, 167. So you just block zapper and it'll just do one row and you'll be able to keep the layers. So just again, pretty much like this. And yeah, block zapper, once again, removing here, but actual farms, no issues. So I haven't seen anyone else use carpet when building farms. What you'll usually see is either the three block tall layers or two blocks, but you just fly through. Now the issue with flying through is, well, you have a slow acceleration. So you start slow and you don't really have much control over your speed, so you're not able to farm as efficiently. And carpet just solves that issue because you can adjust the speed you want and then farm optimally. So taking a look at the nether ward farm of the player with the most nether ward that still had their private island open to the public, we can see what our improvements would bring. Now first, you can fit 50% uh, 50 more layers total per section, which means, for example, there'd be the same amount of nether wart if we removed this area. But also, you do reduce the total drop time between layers since you have fewer blocks to drop through. Just the last few things that I don't think I could fit in another video. So if you use fences for two block tall layers, you can fit an extra row for each section uh, to break, and that's just more crops. But you can use doors for three block and above, 
and that just allows you to have an extra row of dirt because otherwise you'd just have you'd stop here 